how many of you have a boring white fireplace mantle, but you're just tired of it and you want something that's beautiful, warm, and has a gorgeous wood finish. In this short video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to transform your fireplace mantle with the Retikit Fireplace Mantle Kit. Step one is you're gonna to wanna to make sure your surface is squeaky clean. Step two, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you tape off all of your edges so that you have clean lines. Next, you're gonna go ahead and apply the wooden primer. You're gonna apply one coat, let it dry, and apply your second coat. Make sure that it is thoroughly dried. You can go ahead and use a blow dryer or just let it dry naturally. This is the really exciting part. You're gonna be able to grain the wooden stain and when it dries, it looks like beautifully grained natural wood. And you'll see and feel the difference of the wooden stain when it's used with the graining tools. It's amazing, you're gonna love it. So I'm letting this dry. Um, probably gonna just wanna go ahead and use a blow dryer and speed it up because I think I'm gonna do one more coat of the barnwood wooden stain and see how it looks. If I like it, we're done. I don't have to do any more. I could put a top coat on, but actually what's nice about the wooden primer and the wooden stain products is they have top coat built in them. They're actually durable enough for exterior projects. So. I may put a top coat on when I'm done just to kind of give it a nice sheen. But if I want to keep that really lovely wood finish feel, I don't even have to put the top coat on it. So it's totally up to you. I kind of like the wood feel, so I may just leave it. And let me tell you, it's I, I'm not even an hour into this. I'm almost done. So I can't wait to show you what it's going to look like with one more coat. Um, and then we can decide if we want to do two coats total. So anyway, I'm gonna blow dry it and then we'll get started on the next part. Go ahead and apply that second coat of wooden stain and you are absolutely gonna love the color. If you want it a little deeper, go ahead and add that third coat. But when it's all finished and it's dry, you're gonna see all of the beautiful wood grain that you've created. Wooden stain actually has real wood fibers in it, so when it dries, you will have that real wood look and feel, and it's absolutely amazing. You can run your hand over it and feel it, and it just feels like a beautiful plank of solid wood. People are gonna be amazed when they see the transformation of your new fireplace. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the description the link for our Retikit Fireplace and Mantle Kit. We hope to share with you some more videos with our new wooden finish kits. We have so many things to show you and share step-by-step -step tutorials. And I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching. So for this kit, I went ahead and washed the Wonder Brush. I have all my tools that came in the kit. It's the small graining tool. and the big graining tool. And you can see it has little areas where you can put your fingers and it's super easy. It's bendable. You can see it bends, it's rubber. I like this large one. It gives a very realistic wood knot with any of the liquid wood products. You're gonna be amazed at this, but it's really nice to do a variation between this large one and the small one. And you'll get several chances because it takes a little bit for the wooden stain to dry and you'll get several chances. Now, when I use this, I'm gonna go ahead and just gently glide it through and every once in a while, turn my thumb in and that'll make a knot. But I wanna keep the movement smooth and flowing. Do not stop and every once in a while, turn your thumb in, keep it going. So it's gonna be like, 
And sometimes you can just go through just all the way through, or you can angle it and just go all the way through. You don't always have to keep rocking the graining tool. In my opinion, when you do too much of the rocking, it gets too grainy looking. You want it to be smooth, and then every once in a while you'll see a knot. That's the way it looks naturally in most natural woods. And the same thing with this on the smaller one. You can go around edges very nicely with it, but I'll show you. You're gonna see when I actually get right to it, and I'm gonna show you how to grain like a professional. It really only takes just a couple minutes of trial and error. You can actually do a sample piece, maybe take an old tile or an old piece of wood or even an MDF board, and you can test out different looks and make sure that it's the look that you want. Uh, with this, we're gonna be using barn wood, wooden stain. Your kit may have come with a different color wooden stain, but on this one, we are using the barn wood. So this is the time you're gonna get out that, that color that you're gonna use for the grain. And you can also, if you choose, use, after you grain, you're gonna use it for a second coat, possibly even a third. So it's really up to you, it's whatever you want. You might like it just after it's grained and you can go from there and be all finished. And you really can't mess up on this at all. If for some reason you didn't get the grain down before it dried a little bit, you can always go back over it with the wooden primer and start again. Super easy because these are water-based products. So I'm gonna start with the large one. I'm gonna keep my brush with me so I can go ahead and wipe off the graining tool excess. I'm gonna take this edge and kind of angle it down and just pull it through it and maybe once or twice rock it. I'm gonna put my thumb in that when I rock it. So here we go. All right, that's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off with the brush. I'm gonna take this smaller one and kind of get in there and pull where it didn't get it. There. And there's a few places here. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go with a little variation right here. Then I'm gonna go back, try to wipe it. Go ahead and get this part right here. And now you can go several times over the same spot if you don't like it. I'm gonna go right here, pull a little bit through. I still have some on my brush. I'm gonna get some more. Just put a little bit more on my brush, kind of go through here. Want to work it in. Now this grain that you do on the front is going to be very important to get it the way you like it. Again, you can't mess up, but if you want to get it right the first time, just kind of focus on that front part because everybody can see it. <laughs> All right. And you're just going to do it really gently. I'm going to go in with, I'm going to turn it around actually, so it's this side, and I'm going to pull it through. All right, that's amazing. And I'm going to pull this one through too. Hmm, I think I like it. I'm gonna rock it several times for that front. Hmm. I think I have too much excess on there. I'm gonna try that again. Kind of pull it through. I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. See, you can't mess up. You won't be able to mess up on this. There, 
place. Now I'm going to go through with the smaller one on this part. Pull that through. There we go. Let's see. I think I have, I want a little more grain right here. This is all just your taste, whatever you want. Graining has no real rhyme or reason to it. It's just, it's an artistic side. It's made by nature normally. And you can even lightly pull your brush through to soften some of the grain. I'm going to go in and just lightly soften it. You don't have to do this part, but I kind of like to. Just kind of soften it with your brush. All right. So I think that looks really pretty. So when you have these rounded areas, you may have to just take and kind of squeeze in to get the grain you want. And kind of bend it a little. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm taking it and kind of bending it and rocking it. What is really nice about having a rubber graining tool is you can bend it and mold it the way you need to around the curved edges. These curved edges are going to require some bending of the graining tool. So I'm going to take some of that extra I got off the graining tool, kind of put it in this part right here, and then I'm just going to pull the graining tool through, use this little corner the teeth right here on this corner of it and pull it through. 